remove the inequalities. Given that, x, y and z are non-negative real numbers, with x plus y plus z equals 1. There are two inequalities. We will prove the left side inequality first. Because x, y and z are greater than or equal to 0, and x plus y plus z equals 1. So any of x, y or z, must be less than or equal to 1. The algebraic expression, x, y plus y, z plus z, x, minus 2 times x, y, z, can be written as, x, y minus x, y, z, plus y, z minus x, y, z, plus z, x. x, y minus x, y, z, can be written as, x, y time 1 minus z. As x and y are greater than or equal to 0, and z is less than or equal to 1. So x, y time 1 minus z, must be greater than or equal to 0. y, z minus x, y, z, can be written as, y, z times 1 minus x. As y and z are greater than or equal to 0, and x is less than or equal to 1. So y, z time 1 minus x, must be greater than or equal to 0. And as z and x are greater than or equal to 0, so z x must be greater than or equal to 0. Therefore, the algebraic expression is greater than or equal to 0. So we have proved the left side inequality. It is easy. Next we will prove the right side inequality. Because x y and z are greater than or equal to 0, and x plus y plus z equals 1. So at most, only one of x, y or z can be greater than a half. So we consider, a half minus x, times a half minus y, times a half minus z. By expanding, a half minus x, times a half minus y, is equal to, a quarter minus a half x, minus a half y, plus x, y. Continue expanding, we can now write equals, 1 over 8, minus a quarter x, minus a quarter y plus a half x y, minus a quarter z, plus a half z x, plus a half y z, minus x y z. Collect terms with the same coefficients, we can now write equals, 1 over 8, minus a quarter times x plus y plus z, plus a half times x y plus y z plus z x, minus x y z. As x plus y plus z equals 1. So the first two terms can be written as, 1 over 8, minus a quarter. The last two terms can be written as, a half times x y plus y z plus z x, minus 2 x y z. 1 over 8, minus a quarter equals negative 1 over 8. Multiply the above equation by 2, and rearrange the equation, we have, x y plus y z plus z x, minus 2 x y z, equals 2 times a half minus x, times a half minus y times a half minus c, plus a quarter. We have derived an equation, which contains the algebraic expression of interest given in the problem. The right side of the equation involves a product of three terms. We could apply arithmetic mean and geometric mean inequality. The geometric mean is always less than or equal to the arithmetic mean, given that, x1, x2, and so on, xn are non-negative numbers. That is to say, we can only apply a m g m to non-negative numbers. As we have already known that, at most, only one of x y or z can be greater than a half. So we divide the problem into two cases. Case 1, not all of x y and z are less than or equal to a half. Without loss of generality, we assume only x is greater than a half. Because a half minus x is less than zero, a half minus y, and a half minus z, are greater than or equal to zero. Then a half minus x, times a half minus y, times a half minus z, must be less than or equal to zero. Then from equation 1, we have, x y plus y z plus z x, minus 2 x y z, is less than or equal to a quarter. Which is equal to 7 over 28, which is less than 7 over 27. So the right side inequality holds when not all of x, y and z are less than or equal to a half. Case 2, x, y and z all are less than or equal to a half. Then a half minus x, a half minus y, and a half minus z, all are greater than or equal to zero. So by applying a m g m, a half minus x, times a half minus y, times a half minus z, 
is less than or equal to a half minus x plus a half minus y plus a half minus c over 3 all cubed, which is equal to 3 over 2 minus x plus y plus c over 3 all cubed, as x plus y plus c equals 1. So a half over 3 all cubed is equal to 1 over 8 times 27. From equation 1, and in equality 2, we have, xy plus yz plus cx, minus 2xyz, is less than or equal to, 2 over 8 times 27, plus a quarter. Which is equal to, 1 over 4 times 27, plus 27 over 4 times 27. Which is equal to, 28 over 4 times 27. Which is equal to 7 over 27. So the right side inequality holds, when x, y and z all are less than or equal to a half. The proof is complete now.